So you can't come to Singapore and not visit Chinatown, can you? It's the most iconic. And as always, busy cars, trucks, and lorries, and pedestrians. And loads of the old fashioned shop houses, they call them. Ground floor is the shop, and upstairs, one or two or three floors for living in. And they're all decorated beautifully. And this one's called Temple Street. Well, this is the reason that place was called Temple Street. But sadly, at the moment, the Sri Mariman Temple seems to be having some renovations done to it. So now we're in Pagoda Street. It's the first of the street market part of Chinatown, full of drink stalls and souvenir stalls. Down at the bottom end, opposite the temple, there's just these little stands. And since COVID, a lot of them have shut down, apparently, and they look as if they're not reopened. But then you have the shop houses, extra stalls out in front, and magnificent old buildings, like this one. Stalls down below, living above, actually around here, mostly offices and commercial premises above nowadays. Such a shame, some of them all now seem to be closed. Retail space for rent. Side street seems to have more open stalls, but then the main street, all the way up to the MRT station. The Chinatown Heritage Centre is also closed. Up at this end, near the MRT station, seems to be mostly restaurants. And right on the end, which I'm just coming to. One of my favourite food outlets, Fragrance Bakwa. It's a kind of barbecued pork. Ooh, special offer, $19 per 500 grams. Lovely. We're buying some of that to bring home. So you can't come to Singapore and not eat in hawker centers. And you can't come to Chinatown without eating in Chinatown hawker center. So today I've got some roast duck, rice and chili sambal. So let's see what it's like. A bit of duck in the chili. Oh, lovely duck. Really nice duck. Skin could be crispier, but other than that, beautiful. Oh. This is definitely a lunch day job. A little bit of cucumber with it. Mm. So Gladys has just come back with her first tray. Looks like fishball soup. And a couple of drinks. It's a barley water and what looks like sugar cane or maybe lime. Let's have a little sneaky try of our fish ball soup while she's not here. Fish ball. Ooh. A little bit of chili paddy. Mm. Not bad. Very light. Oh, she's coming back now. Have to hurry up. Okay. Gladys has come back with her second tray full of food. She's got an oyster omelette. And what's the other one? Prawn mee? Yeah, Hokkien prawn mee. Hokkien prawn mee. No, so Gladys' uh, sister Gloria has just come back and she's brought soup dumplings. 
and hot and sour soup. Let's try one of the soup dumplings. Increase in the number of. Um, well, I managed food. not to break it. That's a good start. And these, the skin's too thick. These is it? dumplings are full of soup. Mm. You just lost half of it. <laughs> You're supposed to put it straight in your mouth. Too hot for that. It's on the, it's on the plate. So no, it hasn't gone anywhere. No, you're supposed bit. to bite the top. Mmm. And then suck it. Mm. That's what I do. So despite losing half the soup on the plate, very nice. Now, I've got to try some of this oyster omelette. So, oh, this no, sauce too big. is all managed by a bunch of um, PRCs. Oh, right. Mm. And the queue is so Nice long. egg, but needs chili. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, I got sambal here. Actually, I got chili paddy here. Mmm, not bad. Good, right? Yeah. Needs the chili paddy. A little bit of soya, saltness. Yeah, and the yeah. chili. And the other thing about Chinatown complex, besides all the great food upstairs, is all the market stalls downstairs. And most of them appear to be open, okay? And then, wow, what a view when you come out. That is the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. So right outside the Chinatown complex is Creta Air Square. Air is the Malay word for water. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any water here at the moment. But this is just what I think of with Singapore, especially Chinatown. Big skyscrapers, hotels, banks, right next door to the traditional So the market in between Smith Street and Temple Street seems to be round about the busiest. Okay, so traditional Chinese desserts. What are you having? Black glutinous rice. Black glutinous rice. Glorious have what are you having? Peach gum longan is it? Peach gum Peach gum longan. White fungus. And white fungus. And we got some little durian cakes. Durian mochi, yeah. Melvin has got lemongrass jelly. And I'm having sago, no, mango pomelo sago. Mm. 
So we're in the Arab Quarter and we've come out for some murtabak. It's the best murtabak, the sign says. So let's see, why, June, what's it like? Go on. <laughs> so this is my lunch. This is murtabak. It's that crispy pancake. And it's filled with egg and onion and mutton in this particular one. Come in various flavours, but I like the mutton one. Along with a nice hot chilli curry sauce to pour over it. Let's grab a mouthful. Let's get a nice big mouthful of this. A bit of everything covered in the curry. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, this is good. Nice and crispy. The onion is lovely in there. It's softened. And the curry sauce is great. I give this 10 out of 10. Some of the street art in the Arab Quarter is quite spectacular. And there's even a blue and white VW camper van. But the most impressive by far is this one. Absolutely amazing.
Oke, okay, akhir. Oke. Okay. So we made it to the world famous Haji Lane. Narrowest street in Singapore apparently. Lots of interesting shops. I quite fancy seeing what's inside the drunken balloon. Glad we came back here though, it gave me an opportunity to take a photograph of some of my favourite buildings in Singapore here. This one. There's two buildings there, it might not look like it, but there are two separate buildings. And they're built sort of diamond shaped, so from some angles it looks like it's just a wall with no sides. See from this angle, it just looks as if it's just a wall. even more when you get to the top because the closer one looks taller <laughs> Yo, 
Oh, and they are returned, so you can see it comes to a sharp point. You see the separation between the two buildings now. And you begin to see the actual shape of the buildings. But it still fascinates me that every time from certain angles, it just looks like a wall with no sides. Okay, so we're still in Kampong Black, Glam. It's very hot, so we've stopped for a beer. How's your beer, Waijun? Waffle, it's 